Soul Food family. It is my anniversary week, y'all. If you watch this video, I'm trying to make it quick. I'm going to put this before each one of my videos this week. I'm celebrating four years on social media. Four, so, four on Facebook. Um, two on YouTube. Maybe two a uh, year and a half on Instagram. But anyway, it's four years of social media, old school soul food. So I'm celebrating with a video every week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't know what day you watch this video. It's going to be on the front of every video. So enjoy the journey. I'm doing Black Eyed Peas. I'm going to show you the perfect way to get Black Eyed Peas. Beef stroganoff, fried uh, pork chops. Uh, uh, we're going to do smothered uh, uh, sirloin steak, peach crisp. Uh, I'm going to show you my uh, hidden pleasure, 2 in the morning where I want something sweet to eat, what I do, and it takes five minutes for me to do, and it's three items, it's my guilty pleasure. But I'm going to show you that. Just things that I enjoy doing, enjoy eating, but I enjoy cooking. So anyway, come along for the ride. I don't know what video is coming next, but it's going to be one of those items, or maybe something I forgot to mention. Of course, I meant to forget to mention a lot of things. So enjoy the ride. Enjoy this week. This week is not about me, it's about y'all, because if y'all wasn't watching and, and tuning in and Reading my content, my channels wouldn't grow and wouldn't be coming more and more popular. So it's all about you. I appreciate you. I love each and every one of y'all. I got a 98% positivity rate on YouTube, which is unheard of. So that's so I'm doing something right. So anyway, enjoy the ride. I don't know what video is coming up next, but enjoy the video. I do it with love and passion for y'all. And uh, like I say, I hope you enjoy this video. So. The video, as Dale McKenzie would say, this video starts right now. Love y'all. Bye. Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hey, today, y'all, I'm doing two videos in one. Y'all know this is day three of my uh, social media anniversary celebration. Four years on social media this month. Uh, y'all heard this many times. Four years Facebook, two years YouTube. YouTube is actually... Today, May 25th, is the day that I started YouTube. When I first opened up my 2019, today, of course, when you see this video, it ain't going to be May 25th. Probably be the 26th, 27th. But this is actually the day when I uploaded a video. It's amazing when I look back two years and what I've come from and to now the video, the quality and all that because I went through so many cameras. just a headache. But that's part of learning. It's, it's a learning process, and I'm only getting going to get better, more mics, better lighting, cameras, everything. So he, you learn. Every YouTuber will tell you that. So social media is just something. It's a work in progress every day. So I appreciate y'all tuning in every day. Like I say, uh, I think people are getting tired of these videos every day, but I'm gonna keep putting them up every day this week. So uh, a lot of people that follow me probably frustrated why they seeing the video every day, but. Hey, this is the only bonus week for y'all. And I'm doing two videos this today. In a couple of days from now, I'll probably do two videos. So you have some days that have two videos in it. Not two videos, but two recipes in it. So anyway, enough talking. Let's get started. Today I'm doing black eyed peas with some ham, uh, smoked ham in it. Not ham hock, but just smoked ham. Not smoked ham. Yeah, smoked ham uh, pieces. And... Uh, and uh, I'm doing some baked turkey wings, turkey flats, turkey legs. I'm doing the flats, the chips, and the and the and the leg part. It ain't the leg part, you know, the drumstick part of the wings. So I'm doing two of them. But first, let's get started here on the black eyed peas. Let's get these started. Black eyed peas, very simple, y'all. I wash my black eyed peas. I take all the dead part out of the black eyed peas. Dead peas out. If, and the easy way to do that, y'all, is to put them in water, cold water, and let them float. And uh, and let the dead particles and the rotten peas float to the top. Now, the key to this, I'm adding 12 cups of water to this. There's a 6 to 6 to 1 ratio on black eyed peas. So, if you got one cup of peas, you're going to use 6 cups of water. Six cups of liquid or whatever you use it. So I'm halfway there. I got six cups right here. 
I need six more cups, because I got two cups of black eyed peas. That's the ratio. You put this together, let it cook, you ain't gotta do nothing else to it. All you gotta do is stir it and keep, uh, I gotta keep, let me make sure I ain't losing my count. I got two more, uh, that's 10 right there. Hold on, y'all, I just, I, I can't, I can't uh, talk and chew gum at the same time. Think and chew gum at the same time. That's it. That's 12 cups of water. Turn this on, and that's it. That's all you're gonna need for your black eyed peas right there, y'all. See that? Now, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add my onions to this. I might not put all this ham in here. It looks like a lot of liquid, y'all, but it's definitely gonna cook down. And add my peas to this. And let this simmer. Now, it looks like a lot, like it's gonna boil over, you know that's gonna reduce, y'all. So don't worry, my peas not gonna boil over. I've did this many times before. I just put the lid on there, credit corner like that, and let it do its thing. One thing I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna salt them yet. The reason I'm not gonna salt them, is a little tip of the day for y'all. When you salt your peas, they tend to split more on you. So I like to salt my peas after after they get done, I'll season them then. The salt on the little salt on the ham or whatever is not gonna affect it much. But do not salt your peas while they're cooking. They will tend to split on you into pieces. If you want a more whole or wholesome pea, you can leave them, uh, don't salt them to the end. That's a little tip of y'all. Of course, with the tip, we're cleaning them, put it in cold water and let all the, the uh, rotten peas or the dead peas or the little uh, rocks and all that, It'll float to the top. So, anyway, uh, let me clean up here, and when I'm gonna be right back, and we're gonna put these turkey wings together. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, I'm gonna put my turkey wings on this on this pan here, and we're gonna season both sides. I have oil, olive oil on here to help the uh, seasoning stick. I have pre oiled them, as you probably can see. I'm gonna just get a, a method here how I'm gonna season them. I like to put them like that and then they can fit. Okay, got them all on the pan now. Now let me get my seasonings. Get my seasonings here. Now you very seldom see me use lemon pepper a lot unless I'm using specifically using lemon pepper wings. But I am, let me get on that. That's why it's important to get the olive oil. We're gonna season this very liberally, you know. So we're going to cook this uncovered for about an hour at 350 degrees and then uh, and then after an hour we're going to uh, put some foil over it and uh, so the color won't keep so it don't keep browning Put some uh, lemon pepper on here, y'all. I like a little lemon pepper when I do wings. I like a little lemon pepper, not much on them. Not a lot. Just to kind of bring out the flavor of them. Okay. Now I'm gonna flip them over. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side, y'all. And I don't like the tips, but I got a neighbor here down the street that love wing tips, chicken tips. He absolutely love them. See, that's the best flavor of the chicken or the turkey is the tips. I don't, you can have them tips. There ain't no meat on it for me. Turn these over. Do the other side, y'all. That good flavor on the other side here. Another tip there. Really, really, really 
good. My shake there. Be liberal with that. It's like a lot of seasoning, y'all, but it's not. You know I don't use a lot of a lot of seasoning. I don't over season my food, but turkey to me is the one of the most blandest uh meats out there, y'all. This thing don't wanna come out. I guess if I put it in the right spot, it'll come out, won't it? There we go. Had the wrong side open. Okay, a little granulated garlic. Y'all know what, I need to put the skin side up to start. I don't know why I did that. Okay, y'all want the skin side up on this? I'm having a brain cramp, y'all. Make sure the skin side is up. That's the fat part, y'all, when you're cooking these. I've had a brain cramp right there, y'all. Brain cramp. Okay. Turn this one over. A little bit more seasoning on this one. Oh, these are gonna be really well seasoned. And and these the seasoning I'm putting on here don't have a lot of salt in it, y'all. What I'm putting in like y'all know my shake don't have a lot of salt in it. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put it in the oven. It should got enough room to breathe here. Everybody got enough room for the sauna is about to go in the old school sauna they about to experience i to make sure i got the fat side there we go there we go let me pick this one back over i thought i had the fat side yeah it's okay i got it right here it's kind of hard to see after i got the seasoning on here which one's the fat side and which one is the oh let me turn this one on. this one you have enough seasoning on it there we go. Okay. I'm going to put it in the oven 350 degrees for an hour. Um, after an hour, I'm going to come back and check and uh, check the color of them. Because we usually take about an hour and a half on these turkey, uh, to bake these turkey uh, uh, wings. So uh, we'll be back in about an hour. I'm going to show you that. These uh, peas take about an hour and a half. So both of these should definitely be ready by the same time y'all that's what i'm that's what we plan because i love turkey wings baked turkey wings baked turkey flats and uh black eyed peas people say i don't need enough vegetables why you don't put enough vegetables my mama even say that you don't boy you don't need enough vegetables i'm gonna dedicate a whole week y'all for nothing but vegetables i love vegetables i love corn i love uh greens i love broccoli I just don't put it on here to me. A lot of people, to a lot of people, don't get a lot of reaction if you just putting vegetables on there. It's not a lot of reaction. We not gonna do that. But anyway, I'll be back, y'all, in about an hour and let you see how the process is going, and then we'll go from there. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, let's check on our peas here. Okay, y'all, the peas are almost ready. They got about five more minutes. Now, this is something I like to do, y'all. Number one, I like a lot of pot liquor in my peas because I like to pour it in a bowl with the cornbread. If you don't like a lot of pot liquor in your peas, eliminate two cups of the water. I like a lot of pot liquor in my peas. Now, what I like to do too, I like them a little thicker than this. So y'all know the rule that I always make. I'm going to add a little root to this and I'm going to thicken this up. To make it a little bit more creamier. Thicken it up just a little. And this is gonna make it a little my piece a little creamier. A little thicker. You see how they thicken it up? Look at that. The ham is perfectly cooked there. I'm going to show y'all here. I'm going to get a spoon here and show y'all something. See how them peas didn't split up? See? The peas are not split up. They completely cooked. They're not split up. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this down to a simmer. 
That's as thick as I want it. Like I say, y'all, if y'all like a black eyed pea that's really, really thick, thicker than this, use less liquid. But I like mine like this. Now, what I'm going to do now, now I'm going to season it with my salt and pepper, y'all. See how this tastes. Turkey wings are still cooking. They smell amazing. Salt and pepper in here. These took less than a little bit over an hour. Mmm, mmm. Oh, yeah. These don't need nothing else. Like I said, let me show y'all again. See that? And as these set up, y'all. And you know, gravity is going to do its thing. As these set up, that this liquid going to really soak into these peas. See that? Let me show you how tender these are. Uh, this, uh, see how that, uh, that ham is perfectly cooked on there? Look at that. Now you need some cornbread with this. And it's good to go. Look at that. So, what I'm going to do is cut these off, let them sit here, and I'm going to come back here when the turkey is ready. Turkey wings are ready. Man, these things are so good. I wish I got some cornbread here, y'all. I always keep cornbread in my freezer when I cook cornbread. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I literally can drink this pot liquor. That's why I like a lot of liquid because it soaks into the cornbread when you're eating these peas. Just give me a bowl of this. My mama, this is all she would need. Get her a bowl of these uh, black eyed peas and some cornbread. She don't need nothing else. Put some chow chow on it. She don't need nothing else. So, anyway, we'll be back here, y'all. About 30, 45 minutes. I'm going to, uh, matter of fact, I'll be back in just a second. I'm about to put the foil over the turkey wings. Then I'm going to show you how they look. And then I'll. Uh, the process to continue. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, the turkey wings are not ready. Now, see the nice color on them? They got about, got about 30, 45 minutes more to go. So what I'm gonna do, make sure they're all arranged properly. I'm gonna put foil on them. Cause I don't want them to get any darker than they are now. Let me turn this one over, y'all. How pretty, look how pretty these are, y'all. Look how pretty these things are. Okay, what I want to do, I don't want them to get any darker in the process. I'm going to just lay some foil over the top, just like this. Right here. Not too tight, because I don't want them to wear too much. Man, these things smell amazing, y'all. And that's all I'm gonna do to them. I'm gonna put them in the oven another 45 minutes. They've been in there an hour. And see how pretty they are, an hour 350. I'm gonna put them another 45 minutes because the thing, the, the you know, the tips are ready, but they're not gonna hurt them if they all cook together. Nothing really gonna overcook. Like I said, the turkey has a lot of skin on it. So anyway, we'll put it in the oven another 40, 30, 45 minutes. We'll come back and we'll have us some black eyed peas and turkey wings. We'll be right back. Baked turkey wings. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back. And these turkey wings are ready, y'all. Look how juicy they are. Look at this. See how tender that is? Perfectly cooked. Even the even the legs. I call the legs. They are they are cooked too. And the flats. And see what I did when I uh, when I covered them? To eliminate them getting any brown they perfectly cooked on both sides see this one here so what I'm gonna do y'all look at this one here that's what you want the one see how they perfectly come off of that juicy y'all now I'm gonna go away I'm gonna come back here I'm gonna plate it up with my black-eyed peas here and uh we're gonna see how this tastes 
I'm gonna make a plate. I'm gonna do some black eyed peas. I got sweet potato left from yesterday. I got me some cornbread I always keep in the freezer. So I'm gonna plate this up. We'll be back and we're gonna try how this tastes. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. I got my plate fixed here, y'all. Got my turkey wings. I like the flats, y'all. Y'all already know me. I like the flats. You can have the drums and the tips. Give me the flats. I got my cornbread, my black eyed peas. Like I tell y'all, I'll say it before I get the bad comments. It's too loose and too watery. I do this because of this. What I mean, what I'm gonna do later, I ain't gonna do it on camera. Take this crumbly cornbread up in there. That's how I eat my black eyed peas. You gotta have some pot liquor on there, y'all. Gotta have the pot liquor. So we're gonna see how this is. I don't know how to eat this. That's the only way to eat it with my finger, huh? Show y'all how tender this uh, turkey is. Look at that. See how tender that is? Mmm. Mmm. Of course, I like the skin. Mmm. 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 Mm. So flavorful, y'all. So you remember, I seasoned it really, really good. Okay, let's try black eyed peas. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. I got sweet potatoes left from another video. I still have. Mm. That's a full meal right there. You got your vegetables on there, and people say I be hating on me. Say I don't eat enough vegetables. I have my vegetables on there. My starch, protein, and my, and my bread. It's all good, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. This is all good here. But anyway, like I said, y'all get a bonus. Two videos in one. Not two videos. Two recipes in one today, y'all. As I continue day three. This is day three of my uh celebration of my social media week so uh like i said I, I think a lot of people may be getting tired of seeing video every week every day because i'm not getting a lot of response that i usually get when i just post two or three times a week but next week i'll be back to my normal every other day or every three day video so anyway close this video out you see how simple these recipes are very easy very simple and very cost effective these turkey wings didn't cost me but shoot all these turkey wings cost me less than seven bucks yeah I got th these were three turkey wings y'all four turkey wings these were four turkey wings got them less than seven bucks and had to butcher cut them for me so yeah and the black eyed peas is nothing the ham you know the ham is nothing either when you get a smoked ham, that's nothing. Sweet potato. This this plate here probably cost it cost three bucks. So that's the advantage of cooking at home. It's very cost effective, very nutritious. You know what you're getting in it. That's why I like to put up very simple videos, very simple recipes. Because like I say, my recipes is I, they say, oh, you make it look so easy. It is easy. My recipes, I try not to make them so difficult. I try to make them where you probably have it already in your home ingredient. And another thing I do that a lot of people don't do, I the hardest part of my video, is not the video, is to making sure the recipe works and put it in the description of the channel. A lot of people don't do that. They'll just put the ingredients. They won't put the directions step by step. I don't only put the ingredients, I put the steps of how you make this. There. And it takes a lot of time, but I think it's very important but I don't give a lot of ingredients as I'm cooking. So I tell y'all go to the description box and read it. A lot of people do the recipes as they're talking. But I think a lot of people, as they're watching, they don't remember a lot of stuff. And they just just watching for the entertainment. Later on, they can go and look in the description box for themselves. So, yeah, that's why I really do that. I'm very adamant about that when I started my channel. To make sure every video has a description recipe in directions how you do it so anyway let me close this video out uh like i close every video please follow my other social media account as this is my four year anniversary facebook youtube instagram twitter twitch tv pinterest twitch tv and uh oldschoolsoulfood.com remember the hashtag help somebody 
old school soul food. Let me let me spot clothes out. I don't like to share a lot of things, of course, with pictures, but I do like to share things from once every once in a while to let y'all know y'all channel has been your monetary donations and things you send in. It really been helpful. This past Sunday, I was happened to be at the supermarket. I was actually getting things for this video, turkey wings and things like that. I go to a specific store. And I saw this older gentleman. When I was shopping the store, I saw him at the, you know, the customer service. I guess he was cashing a check. I don't know what he was doing. Uh, maybe that's what he was doing. Whatever, taking care of his business. It was early in the morning, about 8, 30, 9 o'clock. It had to be 9 o'clock. And uh, I... Uh, just kind of glance, you know, I look at people and just saying, man, God, this guy, he was in his 60s or whatever. So anyway, I had a lot of stuff that day and I was checking out. He happened to come behind me and put, he had like 10, 15 items in his basket. He was putting stuff on there. And something just, you know how something speak to you, not in, in your mind, but in your heart. Like, help just pay this guy's groceries because you don't know what he's going through. He might, a little check you cash might not go for it. Might be a social security check. All that's going through my mind. So I told the checker, she looked at me like I was crazy when she finished checking mine out. I'd already put in my credit card, you know, you can do that and all they do to cash you just got to keep bringing it up. You can put your credit card in as soon as they start ringing it up. So I put it in, I say, look, just whatever he got, put it on mine. And she looked at me, and, excuse me, I say, whatever he had, put it on mine. And he looked at me and just like, he's just teared up. It's like he made his day. He said, sir, thank you. I said, no, all you got to do, you got social media. Just go follow my channel. Like I tell everybody, that's all I want from you. Just stay old school soul food. That's it. That's all I want from you. And I just took my stuff as a lady bag my stuff up. I waited for his stuff to come through. Got my receipt and left. That was it. I didn't want nothing from them. People just like getting shot. But anyway, I just want to share that with y'all. The little things like that probably made his day. I don't know if the gentleman when he cashed his check, that was his little check to get him through the money. He really getting the little things that he really just needed and to get him through or whatever. But that kind of helped him out. That little 50 bucks and change that I spent meant a lot to him. So anyway, that's why I mean. Help somebody. Old school soul food. So anyway, uh, uh, let me close this video. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.